hey, if you guys are into cosplay, but you don't have any money to make McCree's costume, well, here's what you do to make McCree's poncho. All you need is a blanket and some scissors. Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and today we are going to be drawing McCree or Jesse McCree from the game Overwatch. Now you guys, I apologize. I haven't done a real how to draw tutorial in a while. And the reason for that is basically the past few days have been me trying to focus on creating more content for you guys. But that means that I cut out uh, a couple of things one of which is filming these kinds of intros for my videos. I know that a lot of people miss them and a lot of people do ask for them, but I guess, you know, it's one or the other. I can't produce a lot of content and I can't be filming and editing these at the same time. So here I am finally trying to do an intro for you guys. And to be honest, it's been a while, so I kind of forgot how this is done. I, I think I got it, I think. Anyway, you guys, before we begin the tutorial, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below this video. If you guys like what you see here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions, and slowly but surely, I'm doing a lot of Overwatch characters. So if you guys like Overwatch, stay tuned to this channel. Uh, I'm not sure if there are other channels out there doing Overwatch. Overwatch tutorials, I think there's one or two, but uh, I will try to get as many characters as I can in this video series. Moving on you guys, as always, what you guys need for this tutorial is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black pens so that you guys can ink your drawings afterwards. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you guys can catch up on your drawings. Remember that we all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely normal as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to drawing Jesse McCree. All right, you guys, let's draw Jesse McCree. For this tutorial, we're going to have our paper in landscape mode. And let's get started. First thing we're going to draw is a circle. And we're going to draw it with a little bit of space up at the top. And that space is going to be for his hat. So let's get to it. Um, actually, I'm going to draw it a little bit closer to this side. And I'm going to draw the circle about this big right here. So we're going to draw the general outline of everything first. We're going to block the shapes and then zoom in to those tiny little details. Okay, so here's the head. Two lines going down. For the, uh, for the cheeks. And I'm also going to draw a line going down the center. The jaw. So that it looks like that. And you guys notice that he's, it's a little bit off-center. It's not quite uh, symmetrical. <coughs> now let's draw a neckline going down. One there and one here. And just, that's just going to be for the, the collar piece that goes around his neck. Okay, now right here and here, we're gonna draw the poncho. And it sort of goes like that. And and then let's start to figure out where we're going to put the, well, where the neck comes out of the poncho. Here's what that looks like right there. And then before we draw the poncho, let's actually start drawing in kind of his, where we want the placement of his, his shoulders and everything. So let's draw the shoulders going this way and this way. Of course, his left hand, left arm is going to be covered, so we're not going to be drawing his robotic left arm. It goes around, right, right around there, and then I'm just going to draw a line going down that way. And over here, I'm just going to draw a line going down this way. And on this side, I'm actually going to draw a line from here, going out like this. And this is where I want that chest to go. Okay, and then a little dip right here. And this is where, this right here should be about the place where you want his chest to go, the bottom of his chest. So you want to make sure that you have this line. When you look at the big picture, that this line right here isn't too high or too low. You want it right at the bottom of that chest. Okay, so here's that chest. And then, of course, he's covered in armor, so we're not going to be drawing all of the chests. And, and then here's the rest of the torso. And we're really only going to be drawing up to here, so let's just worry about um, drawing up to that line right there. And I'm just going to draw a very faint line going across so that we know where to stop. All right, now right here, underneath this chest area, we've got the breastplate. The chest plate is up at the top, and here's the bottom of that. Goes down like this, kind of makes a V, goes across. And before we continue that one, let's figure out where the center of the chest is going to go, and it kind of goes like this. So there's the center right there. Okay, now it goes down again, and then it goes into the poncho like that. Okay, so this bottom uh, part and this bottom part should be going, should be about the same, uh, the same uh, height, I guess. Okay, now let's find this spot right here, which is a little bit to the right of the center line 
right here. We're going to draw a line from here going all the way to the shoulder. And then again from here going to the shoulder this way. There's the poncho. Now let's find a spot right here. It goes out like that and then it goes down like this. All right now he's got the poncho. We're going to bring it down to about there. I'm going to erase that part so that we're left with kind of just the poncho and and uh, yeah the outline for the poncho. We're going to bring that that way. Here's the chest right there. Let's draw the arm so it goes like this and it goes in like that and then down like this. Cross, line going down and cross again and then cross again one more time and then this goes out like that. So that's going to be for his arm, which we'll draw in the details later on. Okay, so that's a, a good start for McCree. Uh, let's start zooming in now and let's start doing the details. And of course, we need his hat. But before we do the hat, we need to figure out where to put the face first. So let's figure out McCree's face before we do the hat. Okay, I've erased the bottom of that circle, as you guys already notice. And let's draw the eye line for, for McCree. And I want the eyes to kind of go about there. And the thing with him is he kind of has that scowl. So I want that brow to be rather straight. And I'm going to make it a little bit thick because I want the the um, eyebrows to be right there. Okay. And right around here is where we're going to put the eyes. And the eyes are tiny and squinty. Okay, it goes like that. From there, I'm kind of going to draw the bridge of the nose. I want the nose to end right here, like this and like this. Looks a little weird right now, but we are going to fix it. It's a, always a good idea to draw this very lightly at first so that you can, you know, um, make a lot of changes without it, without your drawing looking very messy later on. So here's the nose. That's how we're going to draw it. And Actually, McCree's nose is going to go up this way. So it does that. <laughs> okay. Now from here, we're going to draw lines going out. And then we're going to draw the lip higher on the on, on this side than it is on this side. Okay. There's the upper lip. Straight line for the for the upper lip just to close that off. And then now the lower lip is going to go down this way. And we're, we're actually leaving some room because what we're going to do is we're going to give him his signature cigar. It comes out looking like that. And then the lower lip is going to look like that. Okay, so let's um, fix him up now. Looks pretty weird at the moment, but bear with me. Sometimes the drawing needs to look ugly before it starts to look good. Right now he looks nothing like McCree, but that's because we haven't drawn his facial hair. We haven't drawn a lot of his uh, facial features or anything. So let's... Let's draw that wrinkle on his nose that gives him that scowl and also under the eyes. You might want to fix your eyes like mine. I noticed that my eyes are a little too far apart and they're a little too small. Or, so I'm going to fix that a little bit. And I'm also going to draw that line going across underneath. Okay. I'm going to draw some cheek lines. So there's McCree. I'm going to have him looking more in this direction. So I've got my pupils more to the right side. Now let's start to draw his facial hair. And I'm going to start over here. And it kind of goes out like that. And same thing on this side. It goes out like this. And then let's now go to the bottom of the uh, lip there. Let's give him a little soul patch. It's just about triangular shaped. And then right here and right here on that soul patch. We're going to draw the beard and it kind of goes from here, goes down that way. And then I sort of zigzag all the way till you get down to the bottom. And then we get this little point. That's the center of it. That's where you want the center of the chin kind of goes a little higher than the rest. And then some more zigzags going up. Okay. Let's go back over here. It goes this way and it goes out like this. Now this right here goes down like that. And then now we can draw 
his beard. It goes like that over here. And then here's just a series of zigzags going up and down in random sizes. You don't want to make it too even. So you want to make those zigzags fairly random. There you go. Okay, of course he's got some shadow, so what you can do is you can give him some stubble right here. Some lines as well. He's also got some more stubble right here underneath his nose. So now you'll notice that he's starting to look like McCree. So you just want to shape that nose to get that shape that you want. Some squinty eyes. And before we do the hair, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to figure out where the brim of his hat is going to go. And it sort of goes, it hovers above his eyes, but it's a little higher on this side than it is on this side. So let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you notice that here it sort of hovers over the eyebrow. And this one goes clear past the eyebrow. You want to go this way, and you want to go this way. There you go. And these are just rough uh, guidelines of how I want the brim. That's probably not where I'm going to put them, but we'll just leave it there. Um, his hair actually goes out about that far this way and about this far this way. And the reason why you want to keep that in mind is because you want to draw, you kind of want to figure out where the, the hat is going to go up. Okay, that far. And we're going to, we're going to draw this for the, for the brim of the hat. We're going to draw that line. Now you want this, this part to go up and meet kind of where the center line of his face is going to go. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to draw another line right here. And now we can figure out where we want this to go. And I actually want it to go about that far. You don't want this to be as long as this width. You want it to be short, so you want it to be shorter. So that's a good width for it. We're going to leave it like that so it kind of creates this triangular shape right there. And we'll do the same thing over here. Like that. And there you've got McCree's, McCree's hat. I'm actually, let me bring this up a little bit higher. And if you do that, that should be perfect. Okay, let's add some details now. The hat actually goes a little bit like this. So you want that little emblem that he's got on his hat right here. So you start off. At the top, you want to create this shape right here, which is a, a trapezoid, and then bring it down so it creates a shield like that. Okay, now inside, you bring this to the center like this. You do two lines, so it looks like an M. And then right here, we draw a V. And then now you want to make this circle that goes like that, so that you get that shape right there. And then right here, complete that circle. And that's what it should look like. Okay, let's draw some bullet casings right here. So we've got two bullet casings here, or bullets. I'm gonna double up on the lines at the bottom. And let's do one more here. And another one on the side. Of course, you want to make all of those the same size. Now, two more over here. One, two. And I want them touching each other, so they're side by side. And one more over here. And one more beside it. Right there. Just like that. Okay? So that's it for McCree's hat. Let's focus in on his hair. He's got very anime hair, which is really odd to see in a cowboy. So let's start over here, the side of his eye. I'm just going to draw hair going down like that, a little hair spike. And over here, sort of flows out like this. 
and another another strand or clump right there and you want to make this wavy w shape that looks like that and then another one like this okay right here is his ear so we're just going to draw a part of his ear we're not going to get into any details and then let's start with the back of the neck here kind of right below this poncho line right here goes up down again to the poncho line and then you kind of want this shape so that it gives him that long haired shape at the back and of course one more spike that looks like that and that's how you do it on that side <laughs> on this side now it's on the side of the eye it goes out like this okay over here it goes out like this a little spike and then down like that and you kind of want these to be similar in space right here so you kind of want that evenness you want to make it even that's what i'm trying to say okay so you want to keep that in mind when you draw it okay and then let's just draw this one going in up and then back so that the hair should create the symmetry on each side of the face okay let's not forget some tuft of hair there and then the ear behind it so there you go that is mccree's face you can make him look more rugged give him more stubble and that's it let's move on let's start now with the the collar and we've got the collar already going underneath his beard i'm going to double up on that line there and then from here i'm going to draw a line going down and this is for his other collar for his other shirt just goes like that goes out and then in again and then right here line going out and then the poncho just sort of wraps around it like this okay now let's go over here we're going to draw a line going down like this and then from here line going up and sort of makes this curve that goes like that right there that's a shirt collar and that goes straight up the side okay and then the poncho just sort of goes tucks underneath that right there okay now over here let's draw some necklines one there one going like that all right now let's zoom out of that and let's create some folds on the poncho start over here and here we want these folds to sort of go to the front like this in a kind of a tilted way so that it looks like that and then from here we're gonna draw a line kind of want this line to go across like this and then here we're gonna curve that in like that this goes up that goes to the back Okay, draw another line right there. From here, it goes out this way and then goes down this way. And we're gonna make this fold. We're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it as a trail going here and then we're gonna pick it up again right there. Okay, and then right here, let's uh, bring that in like that. And this one goes out like this and then in. Okay, let's go back on this side and this goes out this way and then here goes out down out and it goes in and it goes up and then it follows this curve right here that we did stops right there and then we've got this fold which starts right here kind of just goes out like that and this tucks in just like that So that's kind of the poncho there let's add that and this right there and that's the most that i'm going to draw actually let's uh draw that line and that okay so that's uh the poncho poncho of course has a pattern on it and let's start by drawing a kind of a hexagon but it's longer at the top and the bottom of course it's six-sided and it goes like that and I'm going to draw another hexagon inside that okay now we'll have to do this exact same pattern going across so right here and here we're going to continue those lines going up like that 
and these two lines continue going down this way. And now imagine this line going kind of across like that. And this line kind of goes across like this. You start to create another hexagon on the side. And then down here, we're going to make that hexagon go up because of the fabric it's folding. Okay, right here underneath this little triangle shape, we're going to draw a little triangle right there. Okay, let's keep going on this side. So that goes up. This goes down and kind of curves. Okay, now two lines across. Okay, here's a th the third hexagon. Let's draw a triangle right here. Okay, and then let's continue this all the way to the end. So we continue that line, those two lines, those two lines, and they kind of just go into the side here until we don't see it anymore. Okay, and then, of course, triangle there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to draw a line underneath all these hexagons and triangles that we did. Just a line going um, the same width going across all the way to the end. And then right here, I draw a line going out like that. And right here goes in like that. And that's it for that. Let's continue. Let's actually start shaping the poncho on this side and then we'll get into the like the little mechanics on this side here. So let's do this. And this goes out this way. I'm going to bring that down a little bit more like that. So I changed the shape a little bit. <laughs> okay. Here's a line. And here's another one. And both these lines follow this right here. And we're going to draw the exact same pattern that we see over here. But this time it's a little bit bigger going down this way. So let's draw two lines going down first and then sideways and going up over here like that and now we want this to kind of go across this way and this goes across this way okay this goes in that way and this goes in like that so you notice that they're sort of off so let's make that one go that way a little bit more triangle right here This goes this way and this way, and then here and here. There you go. Now, same thing over here. Let's draw a little line going like that. Now it goes in like this, and then out, and then down. Okay. Another one right there. Okay. And then right here, of course, goes this way. And then we'll draw this like that. And then this goes down a little more like this, and this goes like this, and then this like that. And then triangle right there, and then a line right there. It's quite complicated for such a simple design. Okay, so we are almost done with McCree. Let's do the chest, or just below the chest here, the uh, chest plate, and the ab plate, I guess you can call it. Gonna fix that up first gonna erase some guidelines okay let's get started start over here chest plate goes in like that and another one let's go back over here goes in this way as well and then from this point we're gonna bring it up like that to the center and then here's the kind of like the bottom of that chest and and this and this should be aligned together now same thing here this and the bottom of the chest here should align as well And the bottom of the chest is going to have some blue lights. There's one light right there and the other light right here. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw another line right here. It looks like this. So I double up on this line. As you get to this side, what you want to do is you want to take the inner one, 
it goes up like that and this goes up right beside it and it's thinner than it is right here here it gets it's wide but here is fairly thin okay now a rivet right there and another one over here okay now let's draw the well let's draw let's make that three-dimensional so I'm gonna draw another line right here and right here meet meeting right there and this one sort of just goes to that and then fairly thin down here now let's draw the ab plate the ab plate I draw this line extend it out like this and then I'm gonna make this thing that looks like a Superman like the Superman emblem it goes like that I'm gonna do it again on this side so I draw two lines right here it gives it that three-dimensional look and you want to bring it close to each other now here's my center line you want to make sure that this these two are the same on each side it goes in and then down it goes in and it goes down it kind of curves as you go down okay same thing here you just follow that curve going down like that two rivets right there and then two of these mechanical thingies one right here looks like that and the other one on the opposite side looks like that all right right here we're actually gonna draw a circle very faintly there and there and then a pipe going in the center of those actually center of this one right here going parallel to this line unless you get to right around here you want to follow this line now until you get to here close that off okay before we continue there let's close this off right here let me erase that circle that we did so close that I'm gonna draw two more so this is a pipe kind of looks like a pipe which changes direction over here now let's go over here I draw two lines starting from here curves out like that and here curves out this one goes up and this has a circle right here now let's do the same thing on this side okay start right here goes up the side and then right around here close that off draw another curve like that and then this circle thing which is this thing right here okay now more padding on the side goes down like this there's padding right here underneath goes across like that and then back here we're gonna have some other type of piping but I believe it's just for his uh it's just for his armor and it just kind of just follows like this and then the body goes down like that okay now let's finish this off right here we're gonna draw one two three lines and lastly we're going to draw his arm and it's essentially just okay well first let's draw the poncho poncho this right here one line like that this part goes behind it now this is the bicep right here but we're just gonna draw it like that he's got his um, arm sleeve like the sleeve of his uh, shirt kind of rolled up so that's what that is I'm gonna draw another little square right there goes across okay another another one going across like that and now this is his actual arm goes down slightly and goes out like this and then from here we're just going to draw his bicep looks like that and then another muscle going in like that so that's his bicep right there you could even draw it up there and that's it you guys that is how you draw McCree from Overwatch I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video and that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below what 
character you guys like the most in Overwatch and which character I should do next. And don't forget you guys to post your drawings of Jesse McCree on the Google Plus community page. I love seeing everybody's drawings and I would love to see what yours looks like. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links to those in the description below, as well as links to my merchandise, such as draw two t-shirts, draw two mugs, and draw two mouse pads if you guys are interested in those. And if you guys want to buy some of my art prints, I have those as well, available in my art store, draw2.storeenvy.com. Link in the description. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this video with your friends in social media. Speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages, including this one of Jesse McCree. Again, all of the links to those are in the description below. Finally, thank you once again, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. We'll see you guys in my next tutorial. I'm I'm not going to cut this for real you guys. My wife is going to kill me if I cut a hole right in the middle of this blanket.